I don't think there was a moment that I was alive that I didn't like appreciate or wasn't thinking about art. I have mutual appreciation for both worlds of audio and visual. Yeah, just look at them together and see how they can complement each other. It's almost like sculpting, except uh, digital and involving a lot of geometry. Because it's digital, you can do whatever you want to it, like with real life as a medium. It's like you have an infinite art budget because like you're just limited to what your computer can do, which is like a lot. I like to think of myself as just an amalgamation of just like everything I grew up with, like totally subconsciously. Like I didn't even think about it. I'm just like, oh, I see. That probably came from like Sonic the Hedgehog or something. <laughs> like, uh, yeah, just so many things influence me in just the tiniest way, but it all like creates this cohesive like thing that is my my style. I really value escapism in art and video games. Like that's what video games are best at. Like just transporting you into another world where you don't have to deal with the problems of like <laughs> the real one. I love like just blending the games world and the art world because really I don't see them as separate. So my game is called Noor. Um, it's a food art game controlled with a midi fighter. That's a uh, this right here. I was just one day like, hey, I wonder if I can make ramen in Unity and <laughs> see how good it turns out. And then, uh, like, I, I made it, and then I was just like, hey, this is, this is pretty cool. This is pretty good. And I'm like, I'm like, this is actually making me kind of hungry for some real ramen. And can you really even call it a game? Uh, so it's, it's sort of like a toy that you can play around with. Um, like, there's no goals, no objectives. Just play with your food like as if you're a kid and just like I don't know see the fun stuff that happens with it it's something I really appreciate in games um, when they're just like okay we're not gonna try to guide you through this thing we're gonna just let you free to have your own experience if I find the niche group of people who really like it and then just like the rest like everyone else hates it then I, I'm still I still feel like I succeeded just there's so many things that just seem so soulless and like yeah, you turn into like a zombie or like a robot, you're just like sitting there. Not to say anything's wrong with robots, robots are cool, but like, I, humans aren't robots and we should try to be them, like, recognize that we have emotions and we enjoy things and we have fun. So like, I'm just trying to make stuff that's really creative and colorful and fun, hoping that it bleeds into other things. Part of my goal is to just like, abolish the whole femininity behind like certain colors where men are like afraid to like wear pink or whatever like colors aren't off limit to anyone so I, I'm sh always sure to use a lot of pink in my colors and like even though when I dress sometimes I'm just like yeah I'm just gonna wear the most like bright like childish colors sick let's play a tune let's play something really nice really grand really pleasant I want to be an adult that still like has kid in them. Like I don't want to just completely forget that part of myself and just like become this gray old businessman wearing ties and suits and like going to business meetings about tax exemptions. I don't know. <laughs> I'm TJ Hughes, game developer, technical artist. I do a lot of things. <laughs>